Did you know that most malware disguises itself as harmless files? Have you ever wondered what a malicious file looks like and what its contents are? In this video, I'm revealing some of the hidden clues that give away files as malware. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Let's get started. If you want to find out what a hacked site looks like, this is it right here. Check out this video. So I was poking around doing a different video recently and I found this folder. It's under WP content and cache and the folder number one. First of all, that's an indication that this folder is not legitimate because real WordPress folders and real WordPress plugins and themes, they name their folders very descriptively like WP content, i.e. WordPress content. And this one here, WP vivid uploads. The folder name often implies what it's about. Even the cache folder, that's where the cache goes. But then there's a folder called number one. And clearly it's not supposed to be there and it's likely full of malware. And I think it is. If I open any one of these files, it's slow to load because this is crushing my disk space currently on the server. And luckily my SiteGround server has emailing disabled. So this malware was likely set up to send out spam email and it can't because it's disabled. Uh, but it's still slow and takes time to open these files because there's just so many of them. There's seven gigabytes. There's 3,400 files in this number one folder. And this is how you can tell that it's fake. In fact, it's easier to tell if I compare it to another one. I'm just going to open a real deal WordPress file so we can compare. Let's go to, what should I open? You can open anything really, but there's so many, I can't decide. So let's just go to plugins. Go to, oh, we saw WP Vivid earlier, so let's go to WP Vivid. And any one of these, not un uninstall or readme, but let's go to WP Vivid Pro Backup. That's the main plugin file. When we open it, we see things like comments at the top that explain what's going on in the file. We might not be able to understand what exactly is being said here, but we can see that they're all real words. Here we have a comment. That's what these two forward slashes are for. So this is not executed and it kind of ex explains and gives notes to what's going on because sometimes reading through these can take a bit of skill and some experience. So you can just read the comment up here. But if you go through, there's proper spacing. It looks clean. There's real words being used. Even if you can't understand them, they're real words. If we go to CWP Rocket. All right, X out of here. There we go. So WP Rocket, let's go to the main file. And while we're waiting for this to load, if you're liking this video and getting value from it, click like so I know that you like it and you're getting value from it. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining my community here on YouTube. And looks like it's all done. So let's get back to it. Edit that. Same thing. Comments at the top. Real words being used. It's clean. Makes sense. Uh, if we go to a WordPress core file, Let's go to WP content and go to one of the, no, not WP content, the public underscore HTML to get the config file, the classic file. And it just makes sense, right? WordPress files have even more comments than plugin files usually because there's even more being explained by the developers. And it's just readable. Compare that to this file right here. I think they've added this first part up here with real words and it looks like it could be, legit could be legitimate to throw us off. But here, look at this, look at this gibberish. And there's so much of it. There's some real words here, but the parts that are those um, strings of characters, clearly they're hiding something. They're obfuscating what's actually going on in this code by replacing real letters with characters. And there's just so, so much, there's no spacing. There's, if you were trying to read this as a developer, you would scream. This is not how files are written unless you're hiding something. That's how you know that this is a malware file. Even the file name, look at this file name. I mean, what is that? Malware is what that is. So all you have to do really is delete it. Don't try to figure out what it does. Don't try to do anything like that, just delete it. And then you might be wondering, how did it get there in the first place? 
Well, this looks like it started somewhere in uh, this earliest one. It was February. We had a family medical emergency, and it took me out of the game for a while, quite a while. So I haven't done any updating, any maintenance or anything. And so I've got 25 updates available on the site across 20 plugins and probably five themes and maybe even WordPress core updates that I haven't done on any of my websites. And so that's likely how this got in. That's the number one way that websites have hacks and malware injections is through outdated plugins and themes. So just make sure you update them on a regular basis. And then you come in here and I'm actually gonna download one of these for good measure. Cause sometimes I wanna show a hacked file but I just don't have one available. So I'm gonna download one of these. And then once I've downloaded it, I'm just going to go back to cache and then I will go into min, which is the containing folder. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. Min is often short for minified, which is often a legitimate thing, minified scripts. But this number one folder is not legitimate. So I'm just gonna come in here once I've deleted, or sorry, once I've downloaded one of the files to, to keep for future reference, come in here, click on the folder, right click on it and click on delete or click up here to delete it. And then that folder will be gone. And immediately afterwards, I'm gonna go into my website, do all these updates, probably back up the site first uh, and do all the updates to make sure it doesn't happen again. And that's how we solve this hacked file issue. And in, in conjunction, uh, currently, my SiteGround account is saying there's too much file size on our, too much server space being used for our account. And that's also because of this hack. So super easy to fix. In this case, it didn't deface the website or anything. They're just trying to upload files probably to send out spam emails. Next up, check out the second video in this three-part series. It's right up here. And the third video is right down here if you wanna skip ahead to that one. You can watch them in any order but you want to watch all of them to make sure you have all your bases covered. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.